there, it's Sam Piercy. We're on day 10 of 30 of a Faith for Finances journey. It's faithforfinances.com or moneymining.com in the online course area in order to get all the details and to access the program. Day 10, we're looking at people. Who do you know? Oh, it's pretty easy to, to think that if you hang, hang around with bank robbers all the time, sooner or later you're probably going to become a bank robber. If you hang around with drug addicts, sooner or later you're probably going to try drugs. If you hang around with Christian ministry leaders, sooner or later you're probably going to go into ministry. Um, who you hang around with impacts what you think and what you expect to do. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I think that's great. But it's important to recognize that there's there's a an identity that gets developed based on who, where you grew up, how you grew up, the people that you knew, the people that you had, had access to. And we can look in the news and we can see people in magazines and we can go, oh yeah, I'd like that lifestyle. But are you actually in a position where you could even meet somebody or potentially have that lifestyle? Or what is it about that lifestyle that resonates to you? Is it that it looks glamorous and you'd like to have that kind of glamour in your own life? Or is it that somehow the, the marketing messages are, are appealing to some kind of lack in you? And but recognizing who is it that you know or who do you know that might know somebody that you can connect with for the purposes of pursuing the plans and the purposes that God has put in your heart for you specifically to, to roll out. And that, not to say that you need to stay where you, you are, not to say that you need to get out of where you are. It's to say recognizing the value in relationships. The people that you hang around with, are they always saying, no, you can't do that, you can't do that, you're not good enough? Or are they lifting you up, lifting you up and saying, wow, you're so beautiful, you're so talented? Or do they kind of come alongside you when things aren't going well and pray for you and say, it's going to be okay? Or here, why don't you try this? Or why don't you try that? Or how can I help? Or are they, oh, you screwed up again? You know, like Just recognize that and then pay attention to who you are. How are you helping? others around you? Are you the person that speaks into their life or are you the person that is condemning because you've got bitterness somehow that you're holding on to? Recognize those things because when we start talking about money, it's not comfortable to talk about money, especially sometimes to the people that you know or to strangers. Or are you more comfortable talking to strangers than you are talking to the people that you know? But how are you supposed to sow into and to bless those that you know that you love the most? If you're afraid to talk to them about financial matters, how are you going to get prayer and how are you going to open up possibilities by, hey, do you know somebody? This is what I'm working on. This is what God's put in my heart to do. We have to start breaking down some of those barriers and start talking about money because otherwise it's all up here and it's all very self and God doesn't bring money into our lives um, from trees. He brings it in through other people. And so... Start thinking about the people in your lives and how you can increase the good relationships and multiply those good relationships and bless those uh, that bring value into your, into your life. God bless. See you tomorrow. Moneyminding.com or faithforfinances.com is the direct access to this program.